We're gonna do a skills session today at Citizen Surgeon. I'm gonna show you how you can practice tying at home with the help of an empty paint can, a magnetic hook, and of course, some suture. Let's do it. Surgical skills are incredibly important. And for the medical students out there, for the surgeons in training, for anybody that's gonna be tying knots, it's really important that you are practicing tying knots before you get to that position where you got to tie the knots, all right? Before you get into the operating room and before you're in the emergency department or before you're in clinic and you need to tie things, okay? So I'm going to take you through today a simple setup for tying deep knots. Now, when do we need to tie deep knots? Well, Imagine we're in a deep cavity in the abdomen, or we're in the chest and I'm tying through an opening for a chest retractor, or we're deep in the pelvis. Perhaps there's a bleeding on the sacral wall and we're um, taking a suture of that, putting a figure eight suture in, and then tying down to stop that bleeding. We gotta be able to tie down into tight spaces. And so how do you practice that? Well, I made a quick run to Lowe's, all right? You can find some amazing stuff for practicing suturing at Lowe's. And I got myself an empty paint can for like five bucks, this magnetic hook, all right? And then of course, we get some suture. You know, and buy that online, get it from the hospital. A lot of times the scrub techs will give you leftover suture. And that's a great way to take that home and practice with it. And so how do we set this up? Well, you take your empty paint can and just take this magnetic hook, pop it right down the bottom, okay? Now this is gonna give you a great instrument for practicing your ties, all right? So let's get on with that. So what kind of suture do we have? Well, we have a 3.0 silk suture, okay? This is a 30 inch long suture and it's important to have the right length of suture when we do deep ties. We don't wanna get stuck with a short suture, and then we're there really struggling to get that knot thrown. Give yourself plenty of length, okay? So 3.0 silk suture, 30 inches, and we're gonna get this down around the hook. All right, so how are we gonna tie this knot? Let's say we got our suture right here. Let's say that we have a right angle clamp on a vessel deep in the pelvis. We wanna get around that clamp. So first thing we do, a little tension with the index finger, and we'll go and we'll get around that clamp. So in, in our case, it's the hook in the base of the paint can. Let's say we're around a clamp, okay? Then we want to make sure our suture is even. That means we're not going to get stuck with one end deep in the abdomen or the pelvis. And then we want to hold the suture appropriately. So I like to hold it on my middle finger. That's going to keep my index finger and my thumbs free. So I can do two-handed knots, single-handed knots. This is how I want my hands, okay? If our suture is even, we can go ahead and do our first throw. So I'm gonna do a single-handed knot, and we like our first two throws to be in the same direction so we don't get an air knot. We don't wanna have an air knot if we're deep in the abdomen of the pelvis. We got our single-handed knot here, okay? We're gonna tie that down. We're posting up a little bit with that right hand. Remember, we wanna keep that suture pretty even, okay? And then we're gonna throw it again. Now to close that knot off, we're gonna to wanna to do that middle finger throw. All right, and then that knots down nicely, and we can do maybe a fourth throw here, just for good measure. If we wanna do a two-handed knot, we can do that. So we get our thumb through here, boom. And the other way with the index finger. Do that again, thumb through, boom. And with the index finger coming the other way. Now I like to go down with my left hand, I'm left-handed, but it's importantly, maybe you want to practice with that other hand, you know, thumb through like that, down with the left hand. A paint can, a magnetic hook, and some suture is an excellent way to practice these deep ties so you are ready for the operating room. All right, if you liked this skill video, you want to see more like it, go ahead, give it a like, give it a share, leave a comment. What skills do you want to learn 
with easy stuff that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot? Let me know in the comments. As always, study hard, stay safe. I'll see you next time.